Hi there, this is Noah with the Marketing and Training Department. This is part four in our Optimizing Sales video series, and in this video we're going to talk about damage waivers. Damage waivers allow your customers to pay a little extra to essentially get waived from responsibility for if any damage occurs to your units. And I know that sounds a little scary, but it actually is a great way to make extra money. You'll take in a whole lot more money from those than you will have to shell out to repair your units. Now before we dive in, I want to encourage you to like and subscribe to the ERS YouTube channel by clicking on the button in the corner up there so you never miss out on any updates. And let's go ahead and get rolling. Okay, so I've got the back end open here, and I also actually opened up a the live website in a new browser tab and started an order, got all the way to the event info screen. And so we can see on this screen, there's our damage waiver question. We can see there's a blank option in there, so if they ignore the question, then it's just going to default to no. And they actually have to choose yes if they want to get the damage waiver and pay an additional 7%. Now, I actually like the idea of removing the blank option so that it defaults to yes, and they actually have to change it to no if they don't want the damage waiver. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up. So let's go back into the back end, and let's go to Admin, Order Config, Order Options. Now, you will likely already have a damage waiver in your folder. It's in the folders by default, but if you removed it, then it's simple enough to add one back in. You just click on Add New, and there's also a good chance if you saw that in there and you didn't want to use it when you started with ERS, you might have just clicked, made this a Display No order option, so in which case, in order to start using it, you would just change it to Display Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and click into the damage waiver, and we can take a quick look. And again, I want to remove that blank option so that they have to choose, they have to actually choose no if they don't want the damage waiver. So let's go ahead and do that. And I am going to move this to bottom, not bottom and CRM event. I won't spend a ton of time on that, but basically adding something to the CRM event means that it will show up in the event in the CRM as well. And I don't need that in this case. But you want it in the bottom or top group in order to show up in that customer or event info page during checkout. So we are good to go here. I'm going to go ahead and submit. And then I'm going to go back into my order. I am going to refresh the page one more time. And here we go. Okay, so it's defaulted to yes. In other words, if they don't want to charge an additional or pay an additional 7% for this damage waiver, they actually have to change it to no. So I'm going to, again, change it back to yes and go ahead and update. And when we get to this payment screen, we should see that as a line item. Yep, there it is, $20.65. Now, I know some of you are thinking it's going to cost a lot more than $20 to repair one of my units if they damage it. And that's true. But the thing is, you're going to get probably, you know, 50, 100, maybe even more signed damage waivers before somebody actually ends up using it. So you're going to take in a lot more money from this damage waiver than you're going to spend repairing your units. And the other thing you have to think about is the fact that, okay, so maybe somebody doesn't get the damage waiver and they damage your unit. And maybe this is not a great customer, one of those customers who argues even though they're clearly wrong. So, you know, you stick to your guns and you make them pay for it and you're in the right. Well, what happens next? Even though you're in the right, they probably still give you a negative Google or Yelp review, right? So it still ends up damaging you. So the damage waiver is good for that too. You know what? Just take in some extra money from your customers and that will cover the cost of your repairs as needed and then some. So, again, we are really big fans of damage waivers. A couple of years ago at ERSCon, one of our customers... We, ha we have a competition to see who can take in the most money via damage waivers. And one of our customers had taken in $85,000 that year via damage waivers. And I promise you they didn't spend $85,000 repairing their units. So again, that's, that's all we've got for today. I hope this was helpful. As always, you're welcome to reach out and ask us any questions, uh, air any you know comments, concerns that you might have. The tech support department can be reached at 505-435-9731, extension 102, or support at eventrentalsystems.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.